Hey, hey, so I think it might have been a while uh, since I did a little video, but I bought some things recently. I thought I'd show you some of them. So if you remember, we were playing with uh, this, uh, what was it, BC, BTC3100, it says so right there. And I didn't have an adapter for this darn plug. Well, I've gone and bought one, so I thought we'd just have a look at it. This one is a visitor, visit, <laughs> I can't speak, visitor to the UK travel adapter for foreign travelers visiting the UK, converts worldwide plugs to UK three pin. So it's got all of the different uh, types of plugs here. I don't know what the angled ones are. You know, the straight angled. I thought American ones were straight pin, but I thought they were like that. I don't know about the angled ones. That's a new one on me. Um, we've got the Euro there. And then the, oh, American is, can have that final pin up here, can't it? The earth pin. Um, yeah, and that's it. I don't know what that central hole's for. <laughs> no idea. So let's get this thingy open. So we've got a 13 amp fuse in there. Don't know if you guys can see that. And just standard thing. So let's see how well it fits. Oh, it's really in there. That's pretty good. Let's plug it in. Am I gonna be able to get this in shot? Maybe, maybe not. Well, nothing has gone bang. So let's get a multimeter on the case and see what it's kicking out. Where are my probes? There they are. And there's a thingy, so it's probably center pole positive maybe. Let's find out. Yeah, there we go, 12.2 volts. Let's throw it in this thing. There we go, perfect. Okay, that's working fine. Well, I'm glad. It's, oh, it's fairly stuck in there, which is good. Well, I'm happy with that. So in the future, I won't have that problem anymore. Although I have only got one and it was three pounds from Tesco, I think, but good enough. Happy with that. What else do we have? Oh, I did buy some NeoPixels. So, well, they're not, they're W, is that NeoPixels? The WS2812B, I think they are. So there's a connector there. This is just a, a non-waterproof adhesive strip. Um, this is so that I can play around with the software that I've got, because I've left the LEDs for the bridge um, in location uh, because they broke because one of the LEDs failed. So I could cut a bit of strip off and it, it worked fine, but one of the LEDs failed. So I bought some of these just because I wanted some and they were cheap, but I also bought some of the newer um, WS2813s. Don't know if you can read this. I'm not sure where the focus is, but um, so these have some redundancy built in. So if one of the LEDs fails, then the strip will continue to work. And we're gonna try and figure this out. I haven't got this package open and looked at it yet, but this is a waterproof version. I think it's only a meter. But I don't know whether we're gonna be able to see. Oh, we can actually see. So if I just bring these two down, that's kind of a bit closer. So you can see, oh, is it even in focus? That's as good as it's gonna get. You can see this one has four connections while this one only has three. So we've got, um, what does it say? Oh, this is upside down, sorry. So we have BO and BI and DO and DI. So one of them is a backup. Um, so B might be the backup, I'm not sure. Um, whereas this one only has three. So you've got your data in, data out and your ground and five volts. So this has a backup on these ICs. The IC also has six pins on it as well. So I don't know if you can see that. Pretty difficult to see. So we'll play with these and figure out how the devil they work. Um, and I'll see if I can find a non-destructive way of removing one of these so that we can test it's not working. I mean, I could just smash it with a hammer and see if, if the strip still works. We could also test this one by smashing with a hammer and seeing if the strip still works. I don't know. Anyway, 
So we've got those. Um, and there's two more things. Well, one of them is two parts, but it counts. <laughs> so let's go with the other one first, um, the one that's serious. So this is, um, it feels like, well, I know what it is because it says so on the front, but I'm not going to show you because I haven't put a post-it note on there. So I'll just cut this open. Right, there is no message in here, but I know this came from my wish list. And it is a dice kit. And this dice kit does many of the things that I want my own dice kit to do. We're not going to put it together today, but it has... Um, an ice acrylic shell, two pieces. So all of the electronics on one side and I assume that goes on the bottom or the top, I don't know. But it uses a shake switch, one of these vibration sensors. In fact, why are we all the way out there? <laughs> it uses one of these little vibration sensors. So that's how it knows you're shaking the dice. Exactly what I wanted to do. What kind of IC does it use? Don't know if you'll be able to see that. That says it is a, okay, sorry. I can't read it from there. It's an STC microcontroller, the 15F1004, 104104 W. So I don't know anything about that microcontroller, but it's even got a vibration thing in here, a little vibration motor. We've got a transistor, some LEDs. I don't know what color the LEDs are. That's gonna be a fun one. We'll keep, save that for one of the Sundays coming up. Um, so there's that. I don't wanna lose all these parts actually. Bear with me a sec. Now, I think I know who that kit was from. So thank you very much. You know who you are, but there wasn't a note in there, so I'm not gonna say it. But when we do the um, Lazy Sunday for it, we'll, I'll talk to you about who it was then. Um, and the very last thing is a bit stupid, but um, no, it's not stupid. It's cool. It really is. There's some, some Lego that I picked up from AliExpress. It was super cheap, these little models. They're like 70p each. So let's just get one of them out. This one is Mr. Bean. <laughs> now, if you're American, you might not know who Mr. Bean is, but if you're potentially in Europe, or if you're, certainly if you're in the UK, you'll know who Mr. Bean is. Are you in focus? There we go, that's fine. So that is Mr. Bean, apparently. <laughs> It kind of looks like him. I'm really pleased with it. It looks cool. Let's put his hair on. Oh, okay. The hair doesn't really want to fit on. Oh, he's got two sides to his face. <laughs> I love it. I'm not sure his hair fits on. Maybe it's been a long time since I used Lego. There we go. We've got his little legs. Um, he doesn't have any props, but he does stand on this base. So let's put him together. That's kind of cool, isn't it? The other one is Freddie Mercury. So I don't, I can't, I don't know what I was searching to find these. I wasn't actually looking for a little figurine or anything, but these just popped up in those suggested things and I picked them up. His legs are already on. Well, they work better than the ones that I've done on that other one. I think he might have the same haircut as Mr. Bean. Let's get him all together. He's got he's got a prop with him. Oh, okay, the arms are quite difficult to get in. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Freddy. Oh. Oh. No. Ah, oh, there we go. His little little arms, and he gets a microphone to sing into. <laughs> I love it. There we go. So a friend at work um, recently got a new job, so I decided to buy him um, some Rick and Morty. If you don't know what that is, it's a cartoon series, comedy cartoon series. A Rick and Morty, one of these each for his desk. Aren't they cool? Well, anyway, that's all for today. We've got some extra hands here. I'm not really sure what they're for, but um, they might well make it into a project at some point. Maybe I can get them to drive a remote control car or something. All right, well, that has been, that has been a lazy, lazy set? No, it hasn't. What am I saying? Basically, that's the stuff that I bought recently. <laughs>